guys, today I am kicking off the fall season by creating a fall tag video for this year because is it just me or have tag videos in the beauty community almost kind of died? I feel like they have over the past few months and that makes me really sad because tag videos have been around since I started YouTube and I never want them to die. So I did some searching to try and find out if there was like a fall 2014 tag for this year started and I couldn't really find much. So I just decided to create my own this year talking about my favorite fall beauty things, fashion things, and also some random fun fall things because I know that fall is a lot of people's favorite season and rather than just doing a favorites video, this is a way I can tell you guys about so much things that I'm loving in a fun like interactive way and I just who doesn't love a good tag so this is called the favorite fall things tag I know super super creative <laughs> happy fall I know it's just started but uh, I'm pretty pumped about it so let's just go ahead and get into the question and just so you guys know I will have everything that I'm talking about linked in the description box down below so you can easily find anything if you are interested in anything that I talk about so the first category is fall beauty favorites and number one is a face product so my favorite face product of the past few months and I know it's gonna be going into fall because I use this every single day religiously is the Anastasia contour kit it comes with powders highlighters and bronzers and it's absolutely awesome I use this multiple places on my face every single day the highlighter shade is right here and it's so pretty as just a cheek highlight wherever you want to put it and then these two colors are some lighter powders that you can put under your eye to set your under eye concealer or you can put them on your face so it's a very multi-use product and then down here there's three different bronzers that would fit a lot of different skin tones I like to mix these two because this one's a bit orangey for my pale skin they're all matte bronzers which I really like because I like to contour with them and so I just use these two and contour my cheekbones I just love it because I'm lazy and it's a bunch of products in one and they're really really great products number two is your favorite cheek product and mine 100% at the moment has to be Dallas box powder by benefit I love all of the Benefit box powders, but I feel like this one's kind of underrated. I feel like lots of people don't really talk about this one. It's kind of a weird color. You're like, what is this? It's like a purpley toned bronzy blush color. But this, you guys, is so beautiful just to go like right here on your lower cheekbones. It is absolutely gorgeous. You just need a teensy bit. It's the perfect shimmer. It's the perfect bronzy fall color to just add some dimension to your cheeks. And I think it's so beautiful and, as I said, underrated. Number three is your favorite eye product. And mine is another little kit. I have some little kits because I'm at home, so I was like traveling with my makeup right now. But I've been using this non-stop for the past few weeks and I love it because it's so tiny but it has so much in here so this is the Stila Not So Nude palette and I got this recently and it is so so awesome it comes with six eyeshadows and then an all-over shimmer which I pretty much just use as a shadow you could use it as a highlight though it's kitten which is one of their famous like their most famous color and then a convertible color which you can use on your lips and cheeks so again you can use these products different places you don't have to buy a ton of products this all comes in one I have been loving this mostly for the eyeshadows which is why it's my eye choice product so it's just a really really good Good neutral eye super pretty fall colors you should definitely check this out and number four is your favorite lip product and I've talked to you guys about this before I just can't get enough of this product this is my beta bomb and this is just the red shade this is the deepest darkest shade they have and it is I use this lip product every single day. This is the only thing I keep with me in my purse because it's like a lip balm chapstick and it adds color to your lips and it's just beautiful, so moisturizing. It's the perfect amount of just like cherry red to your lips. It's not too much. Like you could keep this in your school bag, your school purse. Yeah, I mean, I'm all about those dark lips for fall, but this I just can't seem to put away quite yet. I'm in love with this because it doesn't dry out your lips and it gives them color. Number five is your favorite hair product. And I was introduced to this product a couple months ago by Ingrid or Miss Glamorazzi. So thank you Ingrid because I've been using this religiously like pretty much every day, every other day 
ever since and it is the Bumble and Bumble Pret a Powder. It's this tiny, tiny, which I love, dry shampoo slash style extender. So I seriously use this like every single off day instead of a dry shampoo. It's just a powder that you sprinkle on your roots. It adds volume. It makes your hair so much less greasy. I find it works better for me than any other dry shampoo. I just think powder absorbs a little bit more. This stuff is seriously awesome. I'm down to like here. I love it so much but it's lasted me a super long time and it's tiny so awesome for travel a lot smaller than a dry shampoo and i don't know why i'm moving it around so much but i love it all right number six is your favorite fall fragrance slash candle so i actually haven't been candle shopping for this year i've been kind of holding off but i am going to go because I need some fall candles in my life, but I do have a fragrance that I got like a month ago or so that I have been so in love with. I actually got it at Anthropology, and I was just kind of sniffing around the scents and I found this one and it is called Toka Colette and I have the tiny little size of it. It came in like a giant size and then this size and this one I feel like was around like $20 or so and the big one was super expensive and I just wanted to try it out. So this one actually doesn't have a little pump. You have to just kind of like pour it carefully on yourself. But you guys, this scent is amazing. I cannot get enough of it. And I feel like it's just a nice, like, mature scent, but it's perfect for day or night. And I also just think the bottle is super adorable. So Anthropology Toka Colette. Please please sniff this. All right, and lastly for beauty is number seven, and it's your favorite fall nail polish, and this one is the one I had on right before I put on this, like, gunmetal silvery color, and it is OPI, I believe it's called green is the new, oh, I was gonna say green is the new black. Nope, it's called don't mess with OPI. I think green is the new black is similar to this color, but it is just so pretty. I love this green color. I have another item to show you guys that's, like, the same color. This is one of my favorite fall colors. I just really love this color with my skin tone, and I've had this for a while and I had it on my nails last week and it was really really pretty and it just was like ah, a breath a breath of fresh fall air on my nails that made absolutely no sense but the next section is fall fashion favorites so first is your favorite trendy clothing item so I have seen a lot of like the flowy comfy pants this year and I can't stop wearing them and buying them so much comfier so much comfier you guys than like jeans jeggings any pants I have ever encountered in my life you know what I'm talking about if you don't I'm gonna show you I got these ones at Nordstrom in the junior section they're from the brand like-minded and they are high-waisted and basically they're just this sheer patterned boho kind of pant they have shorts here so it's not like they're they cover up like the butt and all those areas and then they're sheer like under the shorts part and they flare out and I have been loving 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 pants like these because they feel like you're wearing pajamas it's so so great especially for like long days of class and next for fashion I included your favorite comfy clothing item this is my current favorite and it is a cropped little hoodie. I got this from the Element Eden collection that Wildflower did with them. It's really really cute on. It's just long sleeved, super soft and thin so it's not too much but it's nice to just throw on over like some high waisted shorts or pants, something like that and I love the little rope tie. Right, next, this is probably my favorite category in the fashion section. It is shoes and I could not pick only one. I tried really hard but I recently got some new shoes at Topshop and and I can't even explain my love for them so I have two and the first ones are these holographic boots yeah they're kind of awesome they're lace up they're amazing and then we have these babies yes these are quite intense we have that platform here so these are super easy to walk in super easy to wear they have these in black um, another shade of gray they have them in white definitely check online because they probably have both of these pairs of shoes online I'm gonna link everything below as I said okay and lastly in the fashion category is your favorite fall accessories or accessory. This baby is my diesel man's watch that I got at Nordstrom. And this one has a leather strap. It has a pretty big face, so it's pretty intense and chunky, but this is I love it so much because I find myself wearing a lot of gold or just a lot of black and this matches with like everything. It adds a little bit of masculinity 
to my outfits. You don't have to spend a ton of money on like a nice watch. You can literally get something like that at like Forever 21 or H&M. I just personally wanted to get like a nicer watch, but you can find watches like that a lot of places right now. Okay, so that's all the beauty and fashion favorites, and then I just wanted to end the tag with a couple of questions about fall. So the first one is your favorite fall holiday, Thanksgiving or Halloween. I didn't include Christmas because Christmas is technically in the winter time. I am going to have to say Thanksgiving. I really like both. I love pretty much all holidays, but I love Thanksgiving so much because it's like the start of the Christmas season and I'm quite, quite obsessed with Christmas. I love Halloween and dressing up and everything like that, but I feel like it was a little bit more fun when I was younger and went trick-or-treating and things like that. So I'm gonna have to go with Thanksgiving because food. Your favorite festive food and or drink? I am surprisingly not the biggest fan of the pumpkin spice latte. Uh, not sure why. It's just not my complete favorite. I really, really like hot chai tea lattes in the fall and winter season. That's the only time I, re I only get hot drinks when it's cold outside. Other than that, I really, really like cold drinks. So I'm going to go with a chai tea latte. And then for my festive food, basically any Thanksgiving food. I would have to say hands down probably mashed potatoes, but if we're talking something like a little bit more festive. I always make these apple cinnamon little crescent rolls and they're super super good. I learned how to make them in middle school and I'm making them like every Thanksgiving and they're so yummy. I love apple cinnamon more than like pumpkin flavor so I am going to have to go with that but Thanksgiving food in general is pretty much yeah it's very very close to the heart. Second to last question is what is the happiest part about fall for you? And I think it just has to be like the energy in the air if that makes Okay, that sounds really silly, but kind of I feel like a lot of people's favorite season is fall and a lot of people just get excited about it in general, like the fashion changes, you get to wear your cozy sweaters, you get to have your, uh, you know, like your warm drinks, and I feel like it's just like a season that kind of brings people together like you do certain things in the fall. It's a family time because of Thanksgiving and everything, but then there's fun holidays like Halloween and Halloween-y type things. So I think fall is just a cozy, like cute season in general. And I just like the overall energy and season of fall. And then the last final question is who do you tag? Since I'm creating this tag, I want it to spread. So if you're watching this, you should do it. So I tag you watching this, every single one of you, and I'm going to tag a large list of people in the description box and I'm probably going to tweet it at them and things like that because I'm going to tag a ton of people. So that is the favorite fall things tag and I really hope you guys enjoyed this. This video was kind of long, but what else would you expect from me? So thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you don't want tag videos to die because I really don't want them to die. So give this video a thumbs up for tag videos and I hope some of you guys will do this that make videos and I love you guys and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!